Here in the Layers panel, I have an image and some text with a bevel and emboss. I applied this effect by double clicking on a blank part of the layer, activating bevel and emboss, and playing with these options. With the layer selected, if I lower the opacity, both the text and the effect fade away together. Let's bring that back to 100%. So what about fill? Well, as I reduce it, the layer content fades away, but the effects remain unchanged. There is also an important difference between opacity and fill when it comes to some blending modes. I've highlighted here those modes. I have here an earth layer with a fire layer sitting directly above it. Let's select the fire layer and change its blending mode to color burn. Now this is a great look, but pretty intense. As I lower the opacity of the fire layer, we get this rather boring combination of the two layers. Let's set the opacity to 65%. I have here identical images. Again, let's set the fire layer to color burn. But watch what happens when we start to lower the fill. We get this fantastic mixing of the two layers. Let's set the fill to 65%. So this is an amazing comparison. The same blending mode, here we have adjusted the opacity, and here, the fill. I'd like to leave you with a teaser for another video. Adjusting the fill is an important part of achieving this effect where elements can be used to knock out holes in other elements. I hope all this helped explain the difference between opacity and fill. Catch you later.